just the world, I say we should be worried like a scale of 20. Here in the United States, uh, one, maybe two. But for as a nurse, I used to be a nurse in addition to being a lawyer. As a nurse... Well, you've had a lot of time in school. <laughs> <laughs> but as, as a nurse, uh, I think nurses should be very concerned because they're the ones that are going to be on the front line taking care of the messy uh, results that, that, that lead to the spread of this disease. Yeah. Doctor? Karen, you're, you're, I have a sister that's a nurse uh, and a lawyer as you are. Um, would you say there's some legal culpability here? I understand that Amber Joy Vincent has retained an attorney. Is there culpability of the government that they didn't step up and help these nurses out? I would think so. I don't know about it being government. I think that, as, uh, as Jean said, I think there's some culpability on the issue as it relates to the private hospitals. But the problem here is that these two nurses Wait were minute, likely... The CDC director said you don't, all you need is a private room and a private bathroom. Thomas Eric Dunkel had horrible, explosive diarrhea, we're told. Yeah. Okay. That's right. But so that's the CDC was wrong in what they were telling Presbyterian the Hospital. The CDC was acting on the information that it had at the time. Even the World Health Organization got it wrong. And they, excuse but me, even the World Health Organization got it wrong. workers had died in Sierra Leone and Liberia.